Fernando in Seattle. Hey, Fernando, what's up? Good morning, Tom. You know, um, I know I didn't vote for Trump. So, you know, and at first, I, you know, I don't like him. I think he's just a nasty human being. <laughs> well, I, know, I don't know. I'm sure there's a good guy there. Um, but, uh, you know, what's making me really nervous is that my coworker brought up a good point. You know, it's like uh, she asked me, well, what do you want from, do you want Donald Trump to fail? Do you want him to be repealed as president or whatever? That's the right term. Yeah. And I Impeached, go, well, yeah. No, yes. Tom, I'm sorry. And uh, so, and then she says, well, you know what? If Tom, if uh, Donald Trump's taken out of office, then you have Pence and Ryan right. take over. Isn't that isn't Trump less destructive towards the... Uh, well, I think that's the question that we have to be asking ourselves. You know, Mike Pence is a known quantity. We know that, the, you know, if he comes into office, you know, he's going to try and have prayer in all our schools. He's going to try, he's trying, he's going to try and make uh, 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 both abortion and birth control harder to get. Uh, you know, he, he's going to force women to have funerals for miscarriages. I mean, you know, we know Mike Pence's history. And, you know, he's a true believer on this stuff. And, and he's a, uh, you know, a, a, the Koch brothers and their various, you know, other pieces of their networks are, are his principal supporters. So, you know, he'll be friendly on the fossil fuel industry, friendly on polluters. But we know what he'll do. With Donald Trump, we've got somebody who, I mean, you've got, there, there was this thing called the Goldwater Rule. In, within the psychological community and psychiatric community, the, AP, the American Psychiatric Association, the American Psychological Association. And, and the Goldwater Rule is called that because it, go back, it goes back to 1964 when the question was, is Barry Goldwater crazy? Is he going to start World War III? And, and that was the thing that Lyndon Johnson played into with the little girl with the daisy ad, you know, with the nuclear bomb going off. So, uh, you know, LBJ was per perfectly willing to say it. But the psychological community decided, you know, it's time for us to not be involved in politics. And so there's been this, this policy, this Goldwater rule, ever since 64, that professionals, licensed professionals in the psychology and psychiatry fields don't comment, generally speaking, on the mental health of our, of our leaders, and uh, particularly of the president. And now you've got in the New York Times this article published, this letter published by 15 psychiatrists saying, we're going to break the Goldwater rule. This guy's crazy. He shouldn't be president. So, you know, which is more dangerous to America? And uh, it, the I'm increasingly thinking that having an erratic narcissist who is, who uh, if you just go through the, the American Psychiatric Association's checklist, the DSM-4, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of the American Psychiatric Association, you can look it up. Uh, you go through their checklist of the of the uh, of the characteristics of of a sociopath, and it, it, it's all there. And you go through their checklist of the characteristics of a narcissist, and it's all there. And I'm not sure that that would be the case with Mike Pence. So you know, I, I just I, I I think that frankly, Donald Trump is much more likely to start World War III than Mike Pence, in my opinion. Both of them are going to be terrible for women. Mike Pence will be doing it because he's a true believer. Donald Trump will be doing it because he wants to suck up to a constituency that he thinks is going to reelect him in three and a half years. But uh, I, you know, I'm pers personally, Fernando, of the opinion that Mike Pence would be a more benign uh, Republican president than Donald Trump. But, you know, who knows? Uh, Fernando, thanks a lot for the call. I, you know, I could be wrong on this. And this is something, this is one of those things, you know, be careful what you wish for. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll pick up more of your calls and your thoughts on this right after the break. Stick around.